It's channel review time! If you want to get more views and subs for your channel, especially if you're a new or small channel, I'm going to be giving some of my first impressions, checking out this YouTuber's channel, and giving some feedback on what's working well and what they can do to be able to get more views and grow their subs. So I'm reviewing Fisherman J and K's channel. First impressions overall is I'm not sure, Fisherman, what your channel is because there's no cohesion in your brand. So for example, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a mic or headphones. Your name, Fisherman and JK. Now you do explain what that means in your bio, but just kind of on first impressions, remember. Um, oh, cool, 369 subscribers. This logo, I'm not exactly sure what it is. And then you kind of scroll through your content Pick a blind, maybe that means blind date. Here it says new hit dating show. The branding on your channel is not very cohesive. That would be one of the things that I suggest right off the top. Let's go into your about to see what this is. Fisherman is a term that describes brotherhood in the field of creativity and art. The channel Fisherman is a multiple content channel which aims to entertain whoever is interested in the creativity of videography. Right there where you said whoever is interested. What I would recommend is to choose now who is your audience. Don't make it everyone. It sounded like just from kind of some pre-review of your channel that maybe you were focused on young men who were maybe looking for relationships, but is it men and women? I want you to choose, and you don't have to say that you're catered to men, but when you have in mind who your audience is, then you can create content specifically for them and even create a brand specifically for them. The other thing is that I'm not exactly sure what your niche is. Is it relationships? Is it dating? Is it joking around? One of the things I try to do is whenever I go into a channel is look at what their popular videos are to see where there's organic interest. So when I pull up popular, your most popular video is one from three years ago and it's a spoken word poetry. Now, I'm not sure if that's still what you want your channel to be about, but you did say something about creativity and the arts. So maybe you can post another spoken word to see if that gets some traction and you get some views from that. The second most watched video is from a year ago, Single and Mingle. So I think that also has to do with like kind of like a dating game type thing. Pick a blind. So this is a dating show. That's from a month ago. And then another pickup line from a month ago, uh, would you date a broke guy or girl? That's from two years ago. What's the first thing you check on a person? So what's interesting is actually your videos from about a month ago, they've got a few hundred views. So that's good. Let's look at the wins here. Let's celebrate that you're getting a few hundred views per video. And you do have the ability like, like in these that have gotten over a thousand views. I really like this club girls versus church girls. Something like that may take off in the algorithm. What I would suggest you do though on this one, you see, because it says girls don't have timing. So I'm not sure what the angle is of this video, but the reason I say I like this is because there that's a little bit of controversy because we kind of know church girls are good, but guys also might like club girls. So it's like, which one is it? But this girls, girls don't have timing, that thumbnail isn't in alignment with the title, I would suggest that you make that more provocative because girls don't have timing. It actually confuses me more. I now don't know what this is. So I like the title, but your thumbnail in this particular case might be hurting people watching it. Your title needs to stand out and the thumbnail needs to reinforce the title. I would prefer that you say nothing on your thumbnail and just have an image of let's say two girls with a question mark or something like that over saying something that isn't reinforcing the title. So pick topics that are provocative, that are controversial, that might even have some shock value. Find these topics that there isn't necessarily a predictable answer. Don't go with a topic like this one, girls on toxic gents versus nice gents. The answer to that is most likely people want somebody who's nice versus toxic. Instead of toxic versus nice, it could be cool versus nice because both of those are good. Right. And even like, let's say we could say like club girls could be good and church girls could be good. Right. The point of things that are controversial is that there might be multiple points of view on that. Another thing that could be provocative or even get you into more of the mainstream 
is if you talk about public figures who are already in the spotlight, the dating and relationship niche, especially as a form of entertainment, is really hot. I did notice over here, you've got Will Smith. Now, that was from a year ago. What if you talked about what happened between Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith? Think about a public figure who is in the news now because of a relationship, maybe somebody who's getting a divorce, maybe he's somebody who's just got married, celebrities that are already making the news and piggyback off of those topics, and that could help you get into a wider audience. Why? Because people are already searching for them. Does age matter? That's a great topic. You say here, does age matter? And the thumbnail says, does age matter? You don't need to say the same thing over. In fact, I suggest you don't repeat yourself. Say something different. You can insinuate that one person is 22 and another person is 65. Having that big disparity might make it stand out. Apart from the thumbnails, another thing I want you to focus on is improving your titles. Try to get as much of the gist of what you're trying to say in as few characters as possible. Pack that punch in 50 characters or less. So this one over here, I noticed it didn't do so bad. It got over 300 views a year ago. Asking girls, what's the first thing you look at when A, that is too long. You want to shorten that title, get right to it. So one thing I use is the free ChatGPT feature. And I pop this in, catch a YouTube title in 50 characters or less. And I got girls first impressions, what catches their eye. It's an idea of what the title is about very quickly. So that's what I'm talking about when you're coming up with titles and headlines, make it as provocative as possible, make it as juicy as possible, evoke the curiosity. It's so juicy, I need to watch it. Now let's take a look at your shorts. One thing I recommend that you do with your shorts is that you put text captions on your shorts so that somebody watching can see what it is, like in the first three seconds, and that's a hook that can draw them in. My name is Simon Matimar, but people also know me as Dre. One thing here, I'm 21 seconds in, and I know nothing about this video. We want people to be engaged right away. It's no longer, call it best practices for YouTubers to have this type of a video intro. It's time consuming and people wanna get right into it. I recommend that you remove these and don't have them. Maybe at the end, you could do something like this, but I would not do this at the beginning. The other thing is that you ask the person for his name. What I would do instead is have a really hot clip from your interview in the first five, six seconds, or Tell them what the video is about, giving that hook, right? It could be a question, it could be a powerful statement that that serves as a hook to get people interested right away. People have such low attention spans, so get right into the content. Another thing is you can include images or video B-roll of church girls versus club girls, right? Like it could be like a woman praying, could be for church girls, it could be a group of girls dancing. But adding something that's going to draw people in and watching the video longer is going to help you increase your watch hours. Well, that was it. And here's the trailer for your next video. <laughs> you did something really well here, which is that you teased your next video. And you included footage of that. Two things that I would recommend that you do here. One is if you're going to do that, Put the end screen here showing so that anyone who sees that can then click really easily instead of them having to find it. So make sure you put end screens on every single one of your videos because it increases watch hours because it increases the session time and then people will click on that video and check it out. But here's the other thing I would do. Instead of teasing the Mandela, what I would have done instead is to have put an end screen to another video related to relationships. Because if somebody's finding you because of this topic, that means they're already interested in talking about relationship type stuff, and they're more likely to watch something related to relationships. So I would promote that topic over something unrelated to relationships. And again, you have to think about what's going on in the mind of the viewer. They may be following you, in which case, 
having the teaser of your next video could work, but more likely what's standing out to them is the topic or they searched for that topic and found this. Either way, I think it's more powerful for you to link to another video on the same topic, which in this case has to do with relationships. The last thing that I'm gonna recommend is that you use this community function much more. They've got a poll feature. Let's say club girls versus church girls. You can make that as a poll. Include the link to the video. That's gonna increase engagement. Use the community function, increase that engagement, and that should increase your views and that should help increase your subscribers overall. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something today, please hit the thumbs up and check out this video for more tips and strategies to grow your YouTube visibility and monetize your channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you.